Hello everyone, in this video I'll tell you how you can access the latest models by OpenAI for example GPT-4, GPT-40, DALI model and Whisper model completely free as a student. You need not to pay for anything, none of the model is paid. Only thing that you need is your college email address to access all of these. We'll be using Microsoft Azure to access all these models for free which you can use to build some beautiful AI projects. And also in this video, I'll just stick to the tutorial to deploy these models. If you want me to use these deployments to build some beautiful AI projects, so you can write in the comment section. And if you really find this video helpful, do share it with your juniors or friends or whosoever you find that this might help someone. So your sharing would help me a lot and all the best. And I hope you'll enjoy watching this video. By the end of this video, you will have access to around 1829 models, which include so many new models as well. Deep Sea Carbon is also available, O3 Mini, and you can see all the models that are available to you. And moving to next, there are other models as well. So stay till the end of this video, and I hope you'll find this helpful. So firstly, we will log in to portal.azure.com and make sure we log in using our college email address. Now after logging in, we will search for education and we'll select this education from here. Now you can see that Azure provides $100 to all the eligible students. Now we'll click on sign up now. And we can explore and we can start free. We will need to fill some forms. Now fill in all your details in this form. I'll skip this part and directly verify your academic status. After this verification, you will receive a mail instantly after this form is submitted and click on this link and this link will redirect you to the portal. Now these are basic verification steps to prove that you are not a boat and after verification, you will get on the screen that congratulations, your status has been verified. Now once again open the portal and you can see that you can access student benefits, click there. And now we need to accept some terms and conditions, accept those. Now we'll refresh the page once again. After refreshing, click on the sign up now button again. You can scroll down to check what free services are available on Azure or you can just directly click on start free to avail your $100 credits. Now once again you need to submit one more form by filling in your details and it states that after this form you will get your $100 credited in your Azure account. Now filling those basic details and clicking on sign up. It will redirect you to the portal again and it will show on the screen that 100 out of 100 dollars have been credited in your account and also you need to enable multi-factor authentication for your account as stated on the right hand side which you can do later now search for azure open ai this part now we will create azure open ai for our account and now we will have to select some details for this now we'll create a resource group you can keep any basic name that you want to and now select region. I'll go with Sweden Central because one of my teammates told that it has highest uh, speed processors. Now take some basic name, but the name should be unique and pricing tier, I'm keeping it standard SO. Now click on next. Now this is the type of network access you want to provide to the, this resource. I would keep it to all the networks. Now I don't want any tag. And now review plus submit. I'll directly create uh, this Azure OpenAI for my account. Click on create. And now my deployment has been initialized and after some time my deployment would be successful.
as you can see on the screen the deployment is complete and details have been mentioned on the screen now we can go to the resource and either we can go to home and then explore the resource once again now we'll explore azure ai foundry portal now here we do not have any model deployment we will create a new deployment for ourselves now we'll start with base models and give it some time it will display the models that are available now these are the available chat completion models that we can use these are chat completion models as of now we'll go with gpt 40 model and towards the end of this video we'll deploy dal e model as well now click on gpt 40 click confirm and now it will show that you have insufficient quota for selected option we will request quota by filling a form click on request quota now fill in this very basic form and make sure you fill your college email address in this form and in company address you can mention your college address and copy the subscription id of the azure open ai that you created in your account from the portal copy it from here and paste it there and give a basic justification for why you want this quota i wanted to use it to build some projects now i want to keep my request as standard and i'll keep the standard region same as sweden central and in next option i'll select if the quota is not available in sweden central they can assign it me in some alternate region and what alternate region i'll keep it in us and now my standard model was gpt40 so i'll select that from this drop down menu in this part you need to select the token limit that you want for your model for this time i would be taking 50k tokens as the limit so we need to mention it divided by 1000 so for 50k i'll write 50 now submit and after submission it will take around one day to approve your request if possible so within one business day i received this mail that my limit has been increased to 150k tokens in the sweden central and now open the portal once again and click on azure open ai now we will open and now explore azure ai foundry portal we'll open it and now we'll deploy our model once again because we were not able to do it previously now we will create new deployment from base model give it some time models will display now select gpt40 from here and click confirm it is showing this way but it is working now we can select the model version i'll go with the latest version now see the token uh, it displays that 150k tokens per minute quota has been provided to us now for this deployment i'll be utilizing 10k tokens which will suffice and you can arrange it accordingly to your need and now our deployment has been created and we can use it to build some beautiful ai projects using the gpt40 which is one of the latest models by openai and this is the chat playground which you can see on the screen uh, so you can play around with this deployment uh, put in some prompts to see what response it gives it gives response in text and json format and you can deploy as web app and click on view code you will get your endpoint and keys to utilize it in code format and also some sample codes have been provided to you to how to use it in your code and this is the endpoint and key which you can use in the code as stated here you can instantiate a client using your credentials and use for your project from here you can copy your api key and endpoint and use them closing it moving to model catalog and we can access other models 
apart from chat completion models see this is the complete list of models that are available for us now we will work with dell e3 this is for image generation now we can click on see more to see more details for uh, this model so we will deploy dell e3 model and we'll try generating an image using this deployment now keeping the deployment type as standard because this is the only that is available for us and deploying it now our deployment is successful and our target url and key have been provided to us to use in the code and we can also open this in playground to see how the image generation works now giving some basic prompt to it so generate an image of a robot coding uh, on laptop let's see what it generates it is generating some image and see here is the result so now click on to model catalog and we can explore more models and we can see that around 1800 plus models are now available for us and we can use them in whichever way we want and we can see DeepSeek R1 is also available for us, O3 Mini and some audio models as well. And we can scroll down to see what other models are available. Click on next and see all the models and use it in your projects and explore them uh, to the extent you want. And you have options for filters as well. You can filter using the company and other stuff. So I think that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you deploying your models. And in case you face any issue, you can write down in the comment section thing. And if you want me to make more videos using these deployments to make some beautiful AI projects, then you can write that in the comment section and please do share this video with your juniors or your friends or whosoever that you might think that this video would help and thank you so much all the very best bye bye take care